Hey everyone, hope you're doing well, I'm Lucas and welcome to the start of PSGL Season 34 here on the channel and today we are racing at Round 1 Bahrain, one of my favourite tracks, um, also one of my strongest tracks historically as well and yeah, without further ado, let's jump into our very first run of Q1, our first league racing video on the channel on F123, so let's jump into it, heading into Turn 1 rotating the car like crazy you're gonna see that quite a lot through this video is just a common theme of how we have to rotate the cars using the rear really pretty much sliding the car i mean i can't really say it any other way you know really you know pushing the rear um a lot on the entry we actually missed that apex so not an ideal start to this lap as we head into the sector two um s's and then we've got this tricky right hand hairpin where we missed the apex a bit again so that's two apexes missed the exit a little bit squirrel as well so not the strongest start of lap as we head into turn 10 now and again missing the apex a terrible so far not looking like a very very good lap um yeah just missing apexes not having a good feeling in the rear of the car uh, to kick us off um and yeah coming into now turn 11 and again that's i think that's the fourth apex we've missed in this lap um so not a good start to the to the session um, heading into sector three now down to fourth gear not really carrying excellent minimum speed you can see me shake my head there a little bit as well um, as yeah I wasn't very happy with how the lap was developing one more corner to negotiate missing the apex a tiny bit but you kind of do that quite a bit around that corner anyway coming to the line now DRS open at the line that was terrible and it is a 949 nine, which was with nine one. yeah a pretty terrible lap as you can see we are down in P14, so nowhere near good enough um, to get ourselves through in the one run, which was um, yeah pretty embarrassing for me. Um, yeah, not happy at all with how uh, um, yeah how the lap went at all. But yeah, now using our second set of tyres right at the end of the session, and uh, yeah, not actually uh, gaining time through the first couple of corners. We had a decent turn one on the lap before it was head to here into turn four where we still missed the apex a little bit but we didn't get ourselves caught up wide we gain a couple of hundreds and now heading into sector two using quite a bit of curb uh, compared to the lap before heading into this hairpin do we get to the apex yes we do nice and smooth on the exit still having a little bit of a wiggle but you can see now the time starting to fly up we're heading into turn 10. still missing the apex but carrying greater entry momentum and we just gain you know, double or delta, um, now we're 0.16 up, all we need to do now is basically hit the marks and we're easily going to be through in this session, hitting the apex there, another couple of hundreds gain, and um, yeah, it's quite frustrating as we, you know, we sort of, re we really should have been through in one run, um, it was just a really poor job for me, uh, lap wise, as we had plenty of pace to do so, um, I just did a pretty bad job, there's no other really way to put it but heading into the final corner now getting to the apex nicely getting the power on and we are nearly three tenths up as we come to the line drs open and straight to p1 that was a waste of tires um, <laughs> and yeah first comment i make waste of tires um and as you can see that is um come on. Come on. You just us to, uh, easily through well, and behind. thankfully as well our teammate wilson oh, wow. hughes getting yeah, himself through as well um just... and which was a pretty challenging session to get everything together the grip was obviously a little bit lower in q1 um, as is, you know, expected. But heading into the first run of Q2. So let's try and make um, a better job of this than we did in Q1. Heading into turn one now. Carrying in good momentum. Third gear and exit. A little bit of a short shift going through the middle of the lap. And then heading towards... Um, uh, the middle of the lap, the middle of the corner, sorry. Um, yeah, bit of rear sliding going through turn 4 so that wasn't a hundred percent optimal as we head into the middle sector now um, through the S is just trying to pin it as flat as you can super slow downshifts there as we get ourselves nice and smoothly through the corner and a decent exit heading into turn 10 now downshifting too slow and we have a terrible slide through there and that was really painful that costs a lot of time you can see me shaking my head I was so so annoyed by that because you know we really wanted to try and get through in the one run um but we probably lost about a tenth in that corner alone from the poor entry and then the even worse exit so yeah not ideal through there coming into the final sector really pushing the car a little bit more aggressively on that entry you can see they're pushing the track limits quite um 
quite well through there, so decent through the penultimate corner. One more corner to negotiate. Missing the apex a little bit. Oh, I'm really pushing the limit on the track limit. Freeze right before the last corner. Well, as we had a bit of a screen freeze as well before that last corner, which definitely didn't help us. And Lucas we go P1 for now, but yeah, yeah so we should have. We should have had even so more in hand had it nah, not been for that. Screen freeze right before the last um, corner. The real that frustrating to turn ten. Yeah, that turn ten. Honestly, would have been the case had I not had the stupid drift. Like I lose a tenth in the middle. Yeah, like nearly two and steps yeah. up. Wasn't yeah, really happy with that, which so, meant I had yeah. to go out again, okay, as okay. it wasn't a massive gap down to P10, so we wanted to be safe than sorry, which was really annoying because I wanted to try and have two sets for Q3, as I think we were, you know, our pace was looking strong, but we just, yeah, made a mess of things um, a bit too much in this qualifying, so heading into turn four now, getting a much better apex, and you can just see immediately without the rear slide into that, uh, that corner how much we gain. Committing hard through the left-hander, heading into turn 8 now. Missed the apex a little bit, a little bit of a correction on the steering, but we get a better exit now. 400, just under 400's up, heading into this turn 10. Mastered it this time, and... Oh, what did off right. Over a 10. We, we, ten, we gained nearly a 10th yep, and a half yep. into that one corner, so... Enormously frustrating that we did yeah, not get so that the lap before. Sure, sure, sure. Now, so. Yeah, 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 fine, yeah, 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 yeah. Bail, 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 bail. As you can hear, though, we wanted to save our tyres as best as possible. I mean, I'm in Q3, Q3, but I've only got one shot. But I mean, I've seen that movie before, so. Yeah, I wanted to save the used tyres uh, as best as possible um, heading into Q3. So now we are on our used tyre run. Um, albeit they weren't as badly worn as the other tyres, but heading into turn one though for the first time, and we just wanted to try and set as good a lap as we could on these used tyres, so DRS open now, as we head towards turn four, down to fourth gear, getting to the apex quite nicely, so, so far it's been relatively clean, starting set to two now, just trying to carry that momentum nice and smooth through there, not hitting the apex, so that was really poor through uh, turn 8, bad exit as well, um, so yeah we bled about a lap time away from ourselves there, heading into turn 10, car rotates nicely but we just make the exit a little bit too squares, we didn't quite get to the apex, heading now down towards turn 11, the marker board was disappeared here so it was a little bit harder to spot your, your apex, missed the apex a little bit there, just getting on the power, Sixth gear there for a little bit longer. Getting really nice rotation through the penultimate corner though, which allows us to power on nice and early. Coming towards the final corner now for our used tire run here in Q3. Getting to that apex nicely. A little bit too much rear slip through the mid corner, but that's alright. We come to the line, DRS open, and we do a 4 2, which, yeah, it could have been a bit better with the used tire, but here we are now. For our final run of Q3, our only used tyre run, uh, only new tyre run, sorry, in this session. So let's try and make it count heading into turn one. Getting the car to rotate. Didn't quite carry that forward momentum through the corner, so maybe a little bit of time left on the table. But nonetheless, 600s up going through sector one. Up to eighth gear, heavy on the brakes. And you can see there we get way too much of an over. Um, over rotation on the entry, so that definitely did not help us heading through turn one. But now we commit hard through the middle, the start of the middle sector. But this time, as you can see, we get to the apex actually a bit too well. Um, I guess it is a bit of a consequence of this being my only new tyre run, you know, jumping into a tyre set that's a little bit better. Not quite rotating the car as good as we needed to, to as we needed to through there. So we didn't gain enough time through turn ten. We're only a tenth and a half up at the moment as pole was a point one eight at this point in the session, but coming out of this corner we get a really good exit and our delta is now nearly two and a half tenths up, which will actually put us pole position if we can just round out this lap nicely. We don't get as good an exit though through the penultimate corner, so we've got one more corner now to just try and tidy up the lap and secure pole position, breaking into the final corner, but we just turn in too early, make an absolute mess of the corner. That was the worst lap I've ever done in my life. But well done. And we lose so much time, and yeah. uh, we do a very, uh, very yeah, underwhelming uh, lap, uh, and that left us P3. And, yeah, we ultimately just left Paul on the last corner. 
Shoulda, coulda, woulda at the end of the day, but yeah, not the best job for me in qualifying. But nonetheless, we are right up there in the race and we were still feeling confident about our chances and also excited, you know, it's our first league race on the game. Ultimately, I missed the Spain social right. race that everybody Let's else do done as well. Um, so, because as, as I was racing in a GB4 at Snetterton, the, the weekend and week where that was um, all happening. So yeah, this was my first league race on F123. Right, good luck lads, let's have some fun. And yeah, yeah the right. first of many races on the new game and looking forward to getting underway. So here we are lining oh, up on the grid, tires. waiting for everything to get underway. The alphas are on the mediums, we're on the hard, five red lights on your screen and getting a nice initial launch, but an even better second phase, and we actually get a very, very nice start, but we get pinched in a little bit, not really having much place to go, so heading into turn one, breaking a little bit earlier, oh the Alpha Romeo is actually make contact, and yeah, we were just sort of stuck with places to go, we were constantly having to back out of places, Thomas goes defensive on the inside, so here we are now, ERS activated, um, cars going two by two thousand. into turn four, Thomas way out breaks himself, so we get the switch back now, and then get the inside, heading in towards the second sector, and that is us up into P3 for the moment, side by side with Thomas Rohnert as we head into the middle sector for the first of 29 times. Thomas goes in a bit deep round our outside, we slot in nicely and that is us back into P3 with Thomas going from P1 to P4 on the medium, so not an ideal start for um, the Alfa Romeo. And yeah, that is us up and away um, with split strategies around us, you know, we've got hard, medium, hard, medium, hard uh, in the top five uh, with Barry, Ethan. Brendan, myself, Thomas and Jarno, so a healthy mix of strategy um, and a lot of chaos, I'm sure, um, that will unfold. So, yeah, heading to the penultimate corner, just sort of settling ourselves into racing conditions. Obviously, going from qualifying into race, you know, soft to hard compound. Quite a big adjustment with the fuel as well. So, just getting ourselves settled in now, heading into the last corner for the for first of many times. And that is the first lap of this race in the books. Getting on the ERS, as I knew Thomas was probably going to want to have a little go at me into Tom 1, but ultimately, it wasn't the end of the world if he was to get back past me, but Brendan defends the inside. We actually outbreak yeah, him, but have a little bit of a nudge there, yeah, and then unfortunately we get pinched in here, and again, our momentum just get killed here, and yeah, we're just fighting a losing battle here with the Alfa Romeos on that fast or medium tyre, so ultimately I choose not to fight this oh, way too much. And to yeah, ultimately uh, didn't yeah. put up too much more of a fight um, no against place. Thomas Rohner as the then, yeah, yeah they had the medium tyres you know, and I just didn't see the point as Barry's so in the lead on the hards them, the and the medium the runners way. they didn't get away at the start so they were in the race with us they you know they had to, they had to sort of get away so I wasn't really too bothered if they managed to get away uh, uh, sorry if they managed to get back past so yeah decided not to waste uh, any more battery obviously I gave yeah, it a Thomas go on the first 50%. lap but um, yeah don't want to waste any more battery than that. Um, as I was quite happy just to sort of slot in and wait for the race to unfold and try and maybe come towards us later in the race. So heading on to lap three now, DRS has been enabled. And yeah, as you can see, Brendan Lee now making a move for the lead um, ahead of Barry Bermond, um, our former teammate and good friend, of course. Um, and yeah, uh, a lead, the first of many lead changes in this race. Um, and yeah, heading on to lap four. Uh, lap 5, you can see Yarno was actually pushing us a little bit with ERS but thankfully we called it, but now you can see a massive change for the lead, we go way up the inside, ahead, um, or alongside I should say, of Brendan Lee, we're trying to go side by side through turn 2, but we get the squeeze, and unfortunately again yeah, we're getting there. cost out uh, costed in this race, sorry, where we just have to sort of oh, manage ourselves better. Look at this! Three so, yeah. wide through turn yeah, four, make it three, three by two, oh, yeah. two one by three yeah, by one. It's an absolute mess, I don't even know how to fun. call it. Going round the, the outside now of Yarno, trying to regain the position we lost. We have a look up the inside of Brendan, but ultimately I'm just trying to slot in. I'm not even trying to overtake, and again we get costed a little bit. We're just, we found ourselves in too many situations where it was just everything just sort of didn't pan out a bit there. Um, you were getting a cost a lot of momentum, but thankfully we managed to hang it around the outside of Donoso. And yeah, this has been slot, ourselves, everyone, really slot ourselves back into P5, which, you know, again, wasn't the end of the world, but we were just trying to... It was purely survival. 
Um, and you can also see Frederick Rasmussen on the soft tires, which I believe wasn't actually an intentional strategy. Um, he was on the soft, so he was flying up um, the order a bit as we make our dive up the inside um, of Yarno. Ultimately, didn't manage to pull it off, but it was worth having a little look as yeah, the leaders are fighting like crazy. Um, and you can just see how early we're lifting. We were just trying to make sure yeah, we didn't lose our front wing here. Um, yeah, this was a very not chaotic a, not a couple, exist right now, like. couple of opening yeah. laps. Um, and yeah, um, we were just trying to bide our time, try and not lose out um, oh too God. early in this race. Um, and yeah, it was uh, just about trying to bide our time, trying not to waste too much of our tyres and energy, oh, if we didn't need to. Um, and yeah, obviously Freddy behind us yeah, now on the soft, so something just to keep an eye on um, at el this early phase of the race. But heading on to lap 7 now, another lead change happening now. I believe the Alfa Romeo's trying to overtake each other, but Barry goes up the inside of Brendan Lee. They go side by side. Brendan loses momentum, but they slow each other up, and we go round the outside. Double overtake, and that is us up into P3. Two for one, playing it patient, making the best of the situation, and that is us up into P3 again. So, thankfully, being patient paid off for us. It doesn't always work out like that, but we managed to pull it off. Um, so, yeah, up to P3 now. Barry who is on our same strategy, which should, is important to note, ahead of us on the hard. Brendan Lee boxing oh, at the end of that lap as well, going onto the hard tyre, which will be coming um, crucially later this race, so something yeah, to keep an eye on. Then. And um, yeah, you can see our engineer George uh, confirm that. Engineer strategist and overall GOAT, the Geo Simmers. I'm sure I'll see there, you in the comments, George. Maybe Thomas Roran now. now. Um, Diving into the box um, at the fun. end of that the following lap of his teammates, so in the same, to the box at the end of lap yep. 10, we'll going onto the hard yeah, tyre, yeah. and now Less it is now. a yeah. hard train for the lead, so Barry, myself, Yarno, Fab, Alvaro, all on the hards, but we decide to try and take the lead of this train now, to just try and not lose uh, too much momentum as well, it wasn't so much that I wanted the lead, it was also just trying to lose as little time as possible, um, and also try and kind of work with the cars around us because, you know, I wanted to try and make sure we lost as little time as we could to those medium runners who were going to undercut on those hard tyres um, for a few laps before we eventually jumped onto the mediums. Uh, but skipping onto lap 13 now, um, you can cool. see okay, um, we kept the lead, lead so and um, yeah, our teammate Wilson Hughes uh, boxing at so the I end of lap 12. I think happy to stay out because no one else has boxed, and, but um, if, you, if you want to go yeah, early Now heading on to push. the end of lap 13 by yeah. Bermond. Um, heading into the box now, so this is our time to get the ERS on, okay. get pushing, well. and um, so, yeah, yeah we will um, be boxing at the end of yeah, this yeah. lap on lap 14. Indirect response to Barry boxing, oh, yeah, so right. cutting to the end of lap 14 now, we dive into the box. Yarno, I believe, behind us will extend mm -hmm. as we have, I believe, Fabrizio Donoso boxing on this that. lap alongside us as well, as we have a couple of cars extend yeah, longer than us. Perfectly That's timing one. that uh, turn in, which yeah. is actually really, really important because if we mess that up, we will lose um, you know, crucial positions. With cars so, in a minute. yeah, so heading now it, to, yeah, onto the medium Maybe stint we'll where we're going to get a good bit of grip now. Uh, compared yeah, to those hard tyres, where we're going to rejoin in relation to the other cars. We have by yeah. rejoining just ahead of us now, but crucially, we have Frederick Rasmussen alongside us on those hard tyres. We managed to just hang out um, around the outside and stay ahead, which was crucial for our race. We really, really needed to keep this position. This was um, fundamentally important in our race to keep that position. So this pit stop phase and strategy has worked out Basically as perfect as it could have, so yeah, fantastic work by the boys on the strategy um, at McLaren Shadow. Um, you know, we timed that well, we only lost one position to Barry, and we gained a lap of fresher tyres. So, yeah, this has worked out very, very nicely for us, and we've rejoined ahead of Freddy, who's on a, a few lap older hard. Obviously, you'll remember, he will have boxed um, earlier than us from those softs. And, yeah, Brendan Lee is up the road a bit um, obviously with that undercut and you, as you can notice the gaps are much much bigger this year with the undercuts the undercut makes a big big yeah. difference this year what the hell is Thomas? 
Uh, he, he got blown up. Yep. And you can he hear me there asking uh, where Thomas was, because obviously Thomas and Brendan were somewhat in sync. Um, he Barrow actually had a collision, um, which ended yeah. up in yeah. resulting in, you in him having a split. So, yeah, that was one of the Alfa Romeos out of that lead running. Um, but here we are, cutting onto lap 16, going up the inside of Barry. Um, just again, trying to you know do what was going to gain us as much time as possible um, collectively as the uh, the medium runners at this point um, to catch back up to yeah, um, Brendan ahead of us. And now, as you can see, onto lap. Uh, oh, cutting on now to the end of lap 17, we have managed Brendan to catch Brendan um, a little bit quicker than maybe anticipated. I believe this is because he had minor front wing damage, which wasn't helping his progress. So, yeah, it basically meant we caught him a bit quicker than we would have. We would have caught him anyway, um, as was the pace of Dylan the mediums, but it meant it was a little bit quicker than anticipated. But, as you can see now, on lap 18, taking the lead of this race, the, the theoretical lead of this race, after everybody makes their pit stops. Um, and yeah, the crucial moment here for us is we managed to pass Brendan, who um, is now ahead of Barry. And with our pace advantage on these mediums, this was an, a very, very important lap for us because the DRS and the slipstream on this game is massively more powerful, which is why you saw the chaos in the first stint. So, this was a very rare and golden opportunity for us to get the hammer down and try and just bolt away and break DRS of Brendan behind, which would subsequently mean breaking the DRS to Barry as well. And we, as you can see, we have managed to do that as Barry dives up the inside of Brendan, obviously trying to make sure um, he doesn't lose time to us as well. Um, but yeah, look at the gap now, 1.6 seconds. So we have actually broken DRS to Barry behind us, um, which was crucial. And now you can see the remaining drivers who had stayed out making the pit stops going on to the respective strategies. And yeah, I believe Barry had a slight um, energy surplus to us as well. I think he had maybe, I don't know, 10 or 20% extra energy, which you can see that he used, I think, just there and maybe here as well, just to bring the gap down on the straights. But we also had a lap fresher tyres. Um, which gave us a little bit of an advantage, but now, as you can see, skipping onto lap 21, we are starting to open this gap. Our race pace was very, very strong, and we're combining that with the uh, the, ta the, the tire advantage of, albeit it was only one lap, it always helps have a little bit of a tire advantage, but um, ultimately, the gap just kept going up and up and up, and we had really, really good pace in the second stint of this race, and just generally, um, it seemed, through this oh, race and as you can see skipping onto lap 24 Yarno finding his way up the order as well now with the fresh tyres um, that he gained from boxing later but yeah, we just managed second, to keep yeah. pulling away one second lap, you know, sure. as this race progressed and progressed and progressed and as you can see skipping onto lap 29 now the last lap of the race we pulled a five second gap um, to the cars behind, behind sorry, who were had a little bit of squabbling which always helped us out a little bit but yeah we managed this race super, super well, and it's going to be a win now to open the season. A hey, great race. GG. Really, really good drive. I'm, I'm nothing but a perfectionist, so... Nice one. Does that make up for... Uh, I think that makes up for the quality. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, don't be too hard on yourself. But yeah, really don't good Don't be drive. too hard on yourself, brother. Uh, brother. Did you not see the second stint? <laughs> Yeah, I'm I know. sweating. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. GG. And there we have it. Taking our first win of PSGL Season 34 and our first league racing win on the new game, of course. And uh, yeah, big shout out to the McLaren Shadow Boys and giving me a good strategy. Uh, we worked really well as a team. Um, unlucky for our teammate as well, Wilson, who we believe had damage as well, which made his um, race uh, harder than it would or should have been. Um, but yeah, he showed some good pace, so yeah, looking forward to bouncing back as a team collectively next week, at, I believe, USA uh, and Texas. But yeah, not a bad start to the new game on F123. Thank you very much for watching and for all the support here in the channel recently. It has not gone unnoticed. I really am grateful for the support that we've had recently. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. So take care, everybody. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, like and subscribe for more League Racing content. There's going to be plenty of it this year. And yeah, not a bad start to the year. Take care, everyone. Love you all. Ciao.